All right, hello, hello, Cancer signs. Cancer signs, this is going to be, this is actually your third monthly message for July. However, this is going to uh, resonate for the last half of the month. So into Leo season. Um, so this one crazy, this one crazy. I, ho I hope you're ready for this. So much, the energy shift was boom. Um, now also keep in mind that when I do my monthlies, uh, it can also resonate for rising sign, moon signs. Uh, I throw out dates and times and stuff to help give sp specifics for individuals. So, uh, cancer signs. Okay. Um, wow. So first and foremost, I have to say eight thirteen. Um, I don't, so like I said, some of you could even be, you know, uh, sun signs with just that cancer energy in your chart or dealing with that. Also, there's Libra, Aries, Leo, Scorpio, a little tiny bit of Scorpio popped through. Um, probably Capricorn too, right? And uh, of course, Taurus, Virgo. I was getting all the air signs. The music changed as well, a different shift. Whew. Okay, um, so I saw 1114. I also saw 208. And uh, 209, 210, or 2010, huh? <laughs> whatever. Um, but I kept seeing, uh, so I got lots of different music too. Uh, maybe even there is names Randy, um, and Dave, um, Andy, mm, um, so wait, <laughs> okay, there's a lot of. The MF word, okay? Motherfuckers, you know? <laughs> um, Let's just start with some. We got Ice Cube even. So Ice Cube is uh, Ice Cube music. Uh, the World is Mine. And West Side Connection. Bow Down. Um, You also got some Muse energy. Take a bow. They are Canadian. Um, ooh. Um, wow, okay. Uh, Aries energy potentially. I, I also pull in some Libra and maybe uh, Capricorn with it, but um, Pucifer and the Undertaker, um, and the Ren, the Ren Holder uh, remix of this. Okay. Also got some White Zombie, and I never looked up to see who Rob Zombie was. So there's also, and there is something about witches and warlocks. Yeah. Um, Ministry, and uh, you know what you are, skinny puppy, warlock, monster magnet, um, three different songs even. <laughs> uh, there's one that's an uncut version as a space lord, mother effer, you know. I don't know why I feel like I'm like editing myself, I don't know. Uh, like not saying the whole thing, but anyways. Um, mm. Oh, yeah, and Disgustipated by Tool, um, Intolerance by Tool, and um, Swamp Song. So the weird thing is I don't, I mean, like I was saying, so in the other video, okay, uh, keep this in mind, um, I didn't see much Aries energy, and I was like, oh, this is weird. And so I did pull, like, relationship messages, um, and it kind of showed there's a detour, but it seems like there is... Wow. I don't know. We also got Dr. Dre, right? Uh, I believe that's an Aquarian energy. I got a little Wu-Tang, a little Aquarian energy. Uh, Biggie Papa. Yeah, Notorious B.I.G. and Juicy. And then a little Eminem with the Dr. Dre, right? So all these air signs. Wow. Um, and I forgot about Dre. Hmm. I also saw... Uh, so today while I'm doing it, it's the 28th. So Cancer Signs, happy birthday once again, 628 Cancer Signs. I also saw 74, 712, 78 in specific for, uh, and maybe those dates. So when I bring up different days and times and all of that stuff and the other music, if it doesn't, you know what I mean? If you, you got no clue about it, sometimes it could just be this music reminds you of people or these are music you listen to. White Zombie and Super Beast. No, no. Well, yeah, I guess that one. But that wasn't the song initially I was thinking of. Um, there's Dragula. Um, 
as well as Supercharger Heaven. And then you got Breakwater. This is an old uh, Breakwater and Release the Beast. Um, wow. Anyways, I also saw the I saw an interesting meme and it was like a page of spells and incantations and it kept it and it was it was I have to say it was funny. Okay, um it it was like um to to attract a woman or something or to fascinate a woman, give them some cheese. <laughs> and it was like all these little things and like get the get the woman you love's shoe and uh put something in it and put it above your bed to make them love you like it was just so uh, i don't know it's so funny so anyways maybe also john i kept getting john um you know and uh anyways i'm just gonna say so this is gonna be your last of the month of july right and like i said i'm doing it on the 28th so maybe even the 28th is spotlight and i believe that end of the month of july is the full moon in Aquarian energy. I did not look exactly to see. Um, wow. Okay. Um, <laughs> let's just go. Uh, let's just jump into the card. So underneath here, so check the description box. Uh, that's where I will link in the other videos for your monthlies. And you can also check my channel for um, your birthday messages, as well as some pick a card messages as you feel guided. And sometimes, you know, come back around during the month and also check out your rising soon and mo rising and moon sign. Okay. Um, so like I said, if some of you are a uh, rising sign, moon sign, cancer signs, if I bring up any of these other energies, uh, I'm going to open the runes book. I feel like this is really, especially during, I don't know why I pull it in with the Leo energy, but, uh, and this is even putting up the boundaries, right? Nurturing, protecting your spirit. So the tarot that's underneath here, I did not, like, I did not pick it up. So we already, I want to keep this in mind. We already had that queen of coins upright. Um, there was an empress in the reverse. Uh, there was a king of swords in reverse. I also saw a queen of swords in reverse. So take it how it resonates, okay, guys? Um, so this is your second half of July's monthly. I decided to do it a little differently since I do split up the videos. So um, make sure, it depends on when you get it. Maybe you're not getting this message until we are in the end of July. And in that case, check out my channel for any other uh, clarification guidance, okay? Um, wow. Okay. Um I'm grabbing the deck of cards right now just to see. I'm going right into tarot with this, okay? And so this may be for different cancer signs anyways. So always keep that in mind. Take it how it resonates for you guys. There was this, and there's Taurus energy because Nine Inch Nails to me brings in Taurus energy. And I got uh, 10 miles high. Oh, yeah. We got a little easy E too. And real motherfucking G's. So I said it. Yeah, there we go. Little easy E. He's Virgo. Uh... But maybe, too, it makes you think think of, too, even, right? You know, whatever. I just bring up the energies. Um, three of coins in reverse is what I see underneath the deck as I pick this up. So this is showing, like, normally this is about uh, creating and collaborating uh, with more than one person. Like, uh, people investing in a collaboration, your own creation, where you've... So, you know, so if you're making something, you input your money in for the ingredients for whatever, right? Um, for your art. Um, and this is, and then to make money, right? I'm seeing this as being, not being able to collaborate or create with someone. Um, and that's what it is. Like this, whew, all those songs. <laughs> okay. Um, wow. It was kind of crazy. Skinny puppy. So this also is about the the only thing that matters right now is now, right? Okay. And then, whoa, the sun in reverse. Okay. Someone is unhappy about this. Um, this is the, the Leo energy. Um, I'm saying there could be maybe shadow energy or darkness. This is supposed to be the happiest card. Maybe someone is very unhappy about this even the sun and when i say the sun sometimes you know we're talking about the leo energy or child energy fifth house energy um 
but so it could actually be a child, right? Um, unhappy about something. Or there is something in the darkness. Hmm. Hmm. Very interesting. All the yellow, the yellow is definitely popping here. Very, very interesting. So that's what I see as I open it up. I kept seeing the 13th, right? And it seemed like even the 13th for um, maybe 713 is a spotlight of the eye. I just kept seeing the 13. But this is the 19. 319. Oh, so maybe there is some Pisces. Um, yeah, holy cow. So the 19 even. Okay. Or the 19th of the month. I'm going to give us a good shuffle. All right. And just ask uh, what's most important during the second half of July for the Cancer Signs who are tuned in. Thank you guys all so much. I hope you get a wonderful message. Uh, I think, you know, understanding relationships and learning and growing and moving forward and standing up for what you believe in and uh, seeking and asking questions is always very uh important uh so i appreciate all of you and you know i don't ask for likes or subscribes or doing things like that because i'm not in it for that i'm not in it for <laughs> i'm doing this because i want to share the message i and you this is also my creative outlet um and i also see this as a little sagittarian of learning about other things there's lots of creativity that's involved with it uh yeah and the witch there's, there's oh i think it's 19 witches yeah and, uh so uh monster magnet and 19 witches there was also crop circles huh okay all right so let's start here at uh, the um the shift in energy in leo season for the cancer signs what's the most important thing going on during that you know that first shift we got three cards here the first one i see is maybe dealing with Sagittarian. Wow, you have the Knight of Rods. Wow, so that is, uh, yeah, the Knight of Wands here. Like, that's that young energy, player energy. And I will tell you that it fell over here by options being kept open. Uh, there is even this King of Swords energy underneath there. So, seeing that someone is keeping some... Ooh, so it could be either or, right? And, uh, and that's how I'm going to take it, but I am going to move it over here. Uh, someone keeping their options open maybe um and it's by this king of swords energy and the knight of wands so uh wow i'm gonna move it forward here even as a detour the fire energy could be even a leo right um or the sagittarian energy but that's the player energy okay that was the first one i turned over there's two more that says second option and then there's some feelings are mutual well, we have the three of elixirs, three of cups in reverse. Ooh, no reunion. Ooh, we have the star upright, though. So 15, 16, 17, 317. I don't know why Pisces coming through. I wasn't anticipating a Pisces energy, but then maybe that's... And when I bring up different dates and times, maybe these are important dates. They could be anniversaries, birthdays, year dates. I was also getting 9, 7 and 79. Taking it back to 79, 97, whether that be uh, the year, um, you know, or 9, 7 being Virgo energy. So we have this love potion and bliss elixir and joy tonic in reverse. So normally this would be about... Um, Having a reunion or a reconciliation, a party, a celebration, it's in reverse underneath here because someone's moving on. So there's no reconciliation or movement. Um, and, and I'm seeing someone sees someone as a star and hopeful. So they're moving towards, or you even moving towards what brings you joy and happiness, even shining light. The star is the Aquarian energy, right? Um, wow. Wow. But it's upright, so this is good. I'm going to flow this through. I feel like this is even saying this person maybe was a, a runaround, you know what I mean? They were non-committal. They had, you know, they like to leave their options open. There could be a young energy, younger energy, regardless. Hmm. Uh, wow. Except for all that it's worth. And learning to forgive. Uh there will be no reunion. That's what I got. No reconciliation. No second chance. They don't want to come to the party. You or them even. They're learning to forgive. 
And those ones I read, uh, I, so when I pulled the, um, these relationship messages, I also keep in mind that I, uh, I asked for individual zodiac signs. Okay. So that's why you do need to also listen to the previous message to get further clarification, especially for the first half of the month during your birthday season, guys. So, but the star is beautiful. This, I believe this is by the Taurus energy, if I do recall. Um, and learning to forgive even Aries Taurus energy, potentially even. Uh, we had the blades there. Oh, about stuff from your past, about past lives, about childhood. Okay, some big heavy things. Someone's trying to be hopeful and help. They want to heal things. Um, there could be PS PTSD. And I have to bring this up because what people don't understand in this world, in my personal opinion, the thing that needs to be really be uh, focused on healing is protecting children. There's a lot of stuff going on, children and, and even women. Uh, but I kept seeing 12-year-olds um being harmed um and as somebody who has been uh you know the me too type uh thing as a baby as a child and then again throughout and I feel like there's also some things that it wasn't shared I felt like there's they try and shove things under the rug but even like so I'm a, you know, it's been like, I don't even know, so many years and you think you can just like push it away, but there will be, there will be something that triggers these. So seeing these uh, people getting away. So even I saw in a church, so I understand, I'm not saying, so there's a new, and it was once again, like something to do with being 12, something that happened when you were 12, maybe, or some type of uh, abuse in a, um, sexual manner um whether it be i know this is ugh, nobody wants to fucking talk about it i get it it's wrong but if you look at like i brought up i bring up religion i bring up the dogma of it i bring up um the stuff that goes on in their world and how many times people actually get away and never uh justice is never served um and that's the other thing it's like Maybe these people are already dead and they never went to jail or had anything, you know. Um, mm. uh, but or they were, they were protected by uh, their religious stuff or their doctrine. Um, and in the world, I'm just like, I don't know. Anyone who wants to have compassion for a, a sex offender, period. I don't care if it is a child they hurt or another another human being. Uh, I'm sorry, but but no. <laughs> if you have compassion for them, that means you are guilty too. I, I just, that's the only way to have compassion because um, I have none. And maybe that's why, I, you know, these horrible things that happen to us sometimes in life, it, it it's what gives us a mission to make sure that things need to be changed and that people do not get away with this. Whether it be uh, the illegal migrants coming in and they're blaming it or it's the elites in their Epstein Island bullshit or it's people uh, that are pastors or bishops or uh, priests. I don't care. I will go, I'm not, you know what, I, I'm not, I'm not racist, I'm not judgmental, I'm not like against all, all religions, I'm just, I'm against the pedos, and those who harm children, because it, it, it really messes people up, and confuses them, and it's wrong, that's what needs to be changed, it's not okay, it's not appropriate, and I will never, ever bend on that. So that's what I'm saying. So there was like a pastor that's been called out. And uh, it was when he was messing with a 12-year-old, right? And But it's coming forth. See, the thing is with children, um, I feel like these things don't usually come forth until they are older and adults and stronger. So people for a long time maybe think they're getting away with it. And the sad thing is in between that, they might have done it to a whole bunch of others. Uh, and that's why I, I get so frustrated. Um, I'm, yeah, 
No. Why do you release them? So I have to, so the people in the government, so I got to give an example. Kate Brown, the, the ex-governor of uh, Oregon, right before she got out of office, she released um, a rapist murderer um, on the streets. <laughs> oh, did he do his time? No. People don't deserve a fucking second chance. And uh, with that type of shit. Do we really need to wait for them to do it again? Because they do. They're always fucking repeat offenders. Now, I'm not saying... I'm saying you need to know 100%. And so the allegations of false shit is the same thing. I've seen it where women are fake liars. And I understand that. So I understand that... it. There needs to be 100% proof, evidence, without denial. That's why, and if it, there is, then, uh, and why should we be paying for them to live? Right? I don't know. Hope and healing, the star. Look, see, I get so frustrated. And it's because what's underneath here. Because there's seven of swords and six of cups in reverse, seven, six. Okay. This says you still miss me though, right? So there could be something from your childhood or your past uh, that did pull with also that Taurus energy. Now we've got this Aquarian energy, but trying to heal things, wanting to heal things from the past. Um, hmm. And maybe that's even part of the deception is like knowing that they miss you still. I mean, I did get like the star 69. Um, in the song by, um, fat boy slim. And it's like, what the fuck? <laughs> okay, man, I am getting so feisty. I'm telling you, we hit the Leo energy and it's my Mars. And I am so, when you're passionate, you know, that's that Mars. So my Mars is going to be more about warrior energy than lustful. I don't know. You know what I mean? Like, because Mar you can use Mars in any way you need. Uh, and uh, I that's what I've learned. I And maybe it's because of the things that happened and how I've been sculpted in my life. Maybe it has to do with my Zodiac chart. I don't know. But, uh, yeah. My Mars will be activated. Sun will be connecting. Oh, shining light. So all this ego, there's so much ego with this. And I understand that there is, uh, in the mass, it's like, I'm a woman and I'm pulling my masculine out. You understand? No more sitting back. So I also get Pantera, man. So it's really interesting because cancer sign Pantera has reminded me of you guys and whether you know it or not, but, uh, for me and I got becoming, and I got new level. All right. That's what I got for you guys. So here we go. I want to see this one. Ooh, ten of cups. Ten of cups. Okay. Happiness. Calm. Love. Passion. Wisdom. Harmony. And bliss. The elixir. Ooh. Okay. So overall, what I've got is... uh. Someone who runs around all the time, right? Uh, they do not want to come to some celebration party. They're looking to heal things. They're trying to be hopeful. Um, I think you are them, right? All right. I also see the two of coins. Juggling head, the heart. Oh, the heart of the matter. And then we've got the magician in reverse, though. Ooh, one, two. And two, one. So with this, I also see someone feeling like they do not have everything they need or they have ill will towards somebody. And that could even be that dark magic, black magic type things and la, 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 uh, you know. Um, and that's why I brought up even the warlock and the, the witches and you know what you are. There's some Capricorn too. One, two. And two, one. <laughs> okay. Two different hearts. Oh, so this is even showing juggling, right? 
there is manipulation potentially with that. There's inconsistencies because this is even about with I pulled in the Gemini energy. Again, no, we had two of swords and the coins again underneath there. So I'm kind of peeking right underneath to see how it flows. Inconsistencies. Yeah. And there could be some Neptune-y stuff and Piscean. That's what I'm saying. There's illusion potentially even with that. Hmm. And then you also have never again with this Gemini energy. And sacrifices must be made. Hmm. Okay. Okay. So that's what I got for like that first. So ultimately it's looking, there won't be, it's like realizing no. So this Undertaker song says like, thank you for making me feel guilty. So I can murder your sweet memory. And then we got to never again. Okay. <laughs> All right. Let's see what else we have. Cancer signs. Ah! Cancer signs during this end of July's messages. Um, let's see what else is going on for the cancer signs. This end of July's messages. Okay. Fall over here. Wrong time, wrong place, and some people never change. Miscommunication. Once again, we have justice there and miscommunication as well. So someone, there is just some miscommunication. I'm pulling in a lot of the, I mean, it's the air sign quality, right? So it's the communication. But that was with Gemini too. Over here was also Sagittarian and, and Gemini. So destined soul ties and someone better. Someone unhappy. Here we go. The Knight of Blades in Reverse and the Oh, okay. Wow, wow, wow. Um, wow. So these inconsistencies are this. Wow. So this is the wow. So we have young air sign and we have young fire sign coming in. Um, whether it be Gemini, Libra, Aquarian energy. In reverse, it's saying there's inconsistencies in the story that leave you stuck in your head trying to figure out which way. Someone is in, it could be about finances or money. Um, this, is uh, this is deceptive energy. Uh, the communication is very rude and cutting um, and not factual. Uh, and so someone wants to take a leap of faith and maybe it's with an Aries person potentially even. Uh, but I'm seeing someone, what they're saying, what they're doing is very foolish. Uh, thanks for all the laughs, Joe. Thanks for all the laughs. Ha, 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 ha. When, okay, I have to hit on some political shit because that is, the there's energy of that as well. Uh, like the debate just happened. And when when people think that the, the climate change is the biggest issue of our our world, like, I'm sorry, but I listen to all sides of all of it. And I actually fucking listen. And I'm not, I, I, I don't know how it is. Just like, I'm sorry, but uh, there are more important things. Why do you open the, anyways. Um, and then we've got, this reminds me of like, people just always like, oh, the end is near. The apocalypse is coming. The world's going to end. Well, I don't know, maybe it's a, it has to do with actually the nuclear stuff, right? Um, and uh, all of the money that is given, that is taken from taxpayers and then given to, who? I don't know, to, to military guns and bombs and shit in other countries, warmongers, war pigs, Black Sabbath, um... So I'm saying someone, they were acting a fool even potentially, but I'm also saying this is about the fool can also shows jumping into the unknown, right? Into the unknown. Never again. This is something new. You have strength in reverse there and the hermit, right? Someone did not have the strength, right? Um, as well. To keep doing this, to keep battling, to keep dealing with this. It was like just and never again wanting to go through that. Uh, feeling so small and so little. Um, and we have the hermit here as well. So in this, I have, I can give you, wow. We've got the Virgo, the Aries, Leo, 
and Gemini. Yeah. So I'm seeing someone jumping in and trying some, you know, removing themselves to try and get this clarification, right? Sacrifices must be made. Removing people from your life, detoxing from people um, and things that putting up your boundaries. There's nothing wrong with this. Um, and so sometimes when it's like, oh, love and light, oh, la, la, la. And they're always telling you everything is happy and good and they love you and no, 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 no. And it's just like, come on, you need to see the, the shadow too, uh, the reality of things. Sacrifices must be made. I actually really like, this is a selenite lamp, a selenite tower, which uh, is to raise the vibration. So removing the toxic and you can stand up for yourself, you know, you be the warrior uh, and say no. Because you get too many times where there's just people pleasers and you worry about what everyone else thinks of you. And you know what? I'm, I, I'll be I'm like the realest of real. Um, I love beautiful things. I'm a Venetian all through and through, but I know how to, my Mars too. And uh, you know what I mean? And so I'm not acting like I'm walking on a cloud all the time. I listen to White Zombie. I listen to Pantera. I listen to Easy E. I listen to, I mean, we got also Triumph and Wu-Tang. You know, I'm real. I'm not listening to My Heart Will Go On by Celine Dion. Uh, I'm so, I can't. Like, I can't. I want, you know, I want to get my, my body moving, my body pumped up and I'm sorry, but some what I guess would be called godly music. It depressed me. Ooh, it's like feels hopeless. Like, and I don't know how to. And they're like, we're so happy that Jesus died for our sins and everyone can be forgiven. I'm like, oh man, that's part of the thing there. That's for Jesus to do. If that's what they believe. But I've seen that be the thing of. And that's the thing of them saying. You need to just forgive. Even though you know you don't want. It was it was a mistake. And it could ruin their life. Right. Well what you don't understand is that mistake. It ruined another person's life. It ruined their, their capacity. Their mental capacity. Uh, to have relationships. And feel safe. So I'm surprised I haven't seen like the Wounded Warrior. And maybe it will be coming up. So I want to see this one. Ooh. No way. This looks like golf clubs. I see golf clubs. Six. Ooh, this is victory. Oh, yes. Going golfing. You know, victory. Uh, the other song is like, uh, by Monster Magnet. And, um. Randy and Dave, there's another name it seems like is in there, but, um, what's it called? <laughs> it's Power Trip, right? And it's like, and you got the King of Cups right there. Oh, so Cancer Signs, potentially, but also the water. This is being, feeling proud, feeling victorious, but also being understanding, empathetic, compassionate, and kind and loving, this is balancing the ego, a healthy ego, victory. The world is mine. Ah, the king of cups. Like I'm saying like going golfing and this song talks about, I'm never gonna work another day in my life. The gods told me to relax. I'm feeling victorious. Then I also see this king of coins reversed. So there was somebody who was very greedy. Uh, and when, you know, Nine Inch Nails and Trent Reznor's song, The Warning, it really talks about that. Also, System of a Down and Boom. Only caring about money and not human beings, not other humans. You know what I mean? Not the planet, the earth. So that's the weirdest thing. So I, I love nature. I love uh, the animals, the trees. Uh, 
but I'm not a fool about this whole, it's not logical. It's like basic common sense and logic is lost somewhere. Like the brains are scrambled. There's some scrambled brains. Ooh, little Hannibal Lecter tastes great with some fava beans. <laughs> oh my gosh. This one's crazy. I told you. Uh, I told you. Hope you're ready for this. Um, the rods. But you know what I mean? Like hole in one. A par four. Huh. So he's out there, you know, you know, he's trying to, you know, take care of our, our planet, but... Or, you know, be in charge, but instead of actually doing things as uh, golfing. Hmm. Anyways, I don't know. I don't know. So, taking a leap into the unknown, pulled the Aries energy in this one and the Leo energy. Uh, and Aquarian, that's what's spotlighted at this point. I mean, I'm saying this a star energy is about, you know, being hopeful. Uh, you know, that things can be healed, that you can be healed, that you, you know, and also understanding like removing certain things, uh, letting go. Um, I'm even seeing someone feeling like you literally you a star, you know, because when the star comes out, it is like shining bright, you know, like uh, someone sees you as a star their light and you have i am their light over here and there was some pisces okay so all right let's see what's going else is going on i'm gonna cover all this what do we got on time 36 50 okay all right so for the cancer signs during this leo energy of the month of july so jumping into the unknown um wow we have the elixirs again love potion and it's about the heart. Figure number one. Someone is unhappy. Okay, now we've got the blades again. Hmm. The four swords is about needing to heal and rest. And then we have this king of coins now. Finally, upright. This is things need to wanting to heal, needing to rest. I see this as also needing to work on self-love healing your heart an elixir someone is unhappy i'm see what's under there the coins again so even about a job or a gift maybe um wow that was like ace of coins and ace of cups one four i'm pulling a lot of capricorn with this one in particular okay so i'm gonna flow it all the way through sacrifices must be made and you got to work on self-love this is new love coming in so someone the new love new light <coughs> someone uh there is someone better like it was saying over here as we go uh right that has um maybe there is extra finances maybe someone is financially stable and single or regardless, having a little bit of extra money, even to spend on this type of healing or rest that needs to happen. Uh, and I see this as a beautiful thing to help with the healing, right? Destined soul ties. And it, for some of you, I have to say, some of you, it could be a Gemini. I also see the King of Coins. So it could be somebody who also... Uh, I mean, this is someone who understands finances, right? And the worldly affairs. Mm. I'm, I'm just flowing it through. So even doing this resting, there could also be, I, could, I do see Virgo. Now again, 9-4, okay. This miscommunication. See, justice is upright. So everything is going to be fair and balanced, regarding even a legal stuff potentially even um the five of cups is in reverse so even about toxins and poisons that they used to sell like for doctors you know what i mean those are i kept getting it was like cyanide i mean whoa. miscommunication hmm 
Oh my. So you can also understand if you mess up, if you are in this medicinal field and prescriptions and da 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 and things like this, for some of you, I feel like this is something to do with actual stuff regarding um, the pharmacies or doctors, even malpractice, but or needing to do this healing, right? Uh, and get out of sadness, depression, uh, things that are toxic, uh, even in your, your body. Because we've got the head and the heart connected with this. This is a beautiful card. Feeling very balanced. And there could have been miscommunication, right? It could have had to do with any of those. Man, if you mess that up. Oh. So there's what I have to share. This is a funny story. <laughs> no, no, it's not funny. It's really messed up. But uh, there's Capricorn energy. I got a feminine energy, even though this is a king of coins. Uh, I got to give an example of someone that I know who thinks they're a know-it-all and never knows how to humble themselves. They, they went and got like, you know, became a nurse or something really late in life. Finally, you know, in their 50s. Uh, after they've made all these different, like at one time it was business, you know, changing their mind constantly. Uh, and uh, whatever, I, I get it. If you start on one path and you decided that it's not for you, then it's best to, you know, go the a different, different direction. The thing I'm getting at is that when you're, me when you're in the medical field, if you mess up prescriptions or quantities you are negligent so i had this one lady literally this one lady it's a family member uh be like the someone needs oxygen like an oxygen tank and oh i gotta go get their nitrogen tank and i was like wait i am not even in this field and i clearly know that that's not right oh same thing no it's not that's negligent so be careful. I don't, I, be, I think the biggest thing with all of this is understanding to ask questions. Do not look up to any, and maybe they do have book smarts and they do know more than you about certain things. So also respect that, but do your own research, ask questions, get second opinions. Uh, but I do see, and then you get this closure. So I like that the King of Coins is now upright, right? This is good. All right. I see also the will of fortune. Oh my goodness. Yes, this is good. This is good fortune. This is divine timing. This is healing. You even have, so you have the love potion right there. We have that over there. I'm looking at this and there is a sword. There's a pentacle. What is this one? This looks like a wand. So this is, wow. The spin of the will, right? Good fortune. 410. Hmm. Closure. Um, that's what's underneath there. I'm gonna finish this up though and see what else to finish up this end of the month. I'm gonna I am gonna get Nordic runes. I wanna open that up um uh, before I finish for uh for your monthly. Okay, so we've got this closure even, right? Someone was being dishonest, even they didn't have the truth. They didn't have clarity about something about a wife or a mother, even uh, the Empress in reverse. So that's just showing a, a feminine not taking care of stuff. And there's betrayal there. There's backstabbing and betrayal, even by your own uh, a family member or a wife. Or this could be about. Uh, yeah, OK. Oh, my gosh. Some of you. And it could be your mother. Wow. Uh, yeah, or I'm, it's, this empress is, should have, uh, you know, an empress to me is a woman, a woman that is, uh, that is a mother that is taking care of business, the matriarch of the family. They're very abundant. They, they, they have, they, they have very balanced, they have every single energy in them, right? They know how to manifest a beautiful uh, home, take care of family, children, even business, right? Uh, they handle business. They know how to give directions and guidance. Uh, upright, they're, they're, they're in their power and they're watching over and they're giving guidance. Uh, and it's benevolent and beautiful and it's beautiful. 
in reverse, they're not, they're not doing it. Um, they become very selfish, self-absorbed. Uh, they don't want to be a mother even. They're not taking care of their family or their business. Uh, yeah. It says we will overcome this. So if you've dealt with something like that, maybe even they wanted you to shove some stuff under the rug. They they don't want to come clean and be honest. I actually know some cancer signs who's, uh, they're younger. I kept getting some about 12, maybe something, you know, they say. But um, these are not for kids. So these, so keep that in mind. These videos are not for children. Because we're going to talk about things that are, you know, they don't need to learn or worry about at this point. But um, I see this as like even abandon or drugs were more important or another man, you know, or something like that. Like they're just kind of abandoning. You know what I mean? Like, so an example is a mother who has, you know, most likely maybe single or they're, they're cheating on their spouse or something like that. But always looking for a man they don't to take care of them and actually neglecting their children for going out to the club. Yeah, things like that. Okay. All right. I see it's really interesting. Okay, let's let's keep going. What else were these cancer signs during this Leo? This one flipped the magician. Here we go. Right. So this one, look at this. This spine is curved, right? This is an eight, even. Very interesting. Finally having a spine. I read this card so much differently. <gasps> wow. I'm alive. This is becoming alive. Um, do you see? Uh, so if we look at all of the other the cards in here, this magician energy um is about is creating something real, something alive. Uh it's magical. Uh uh, a baby is is shows how magical our bodies are. Um, and then we've got, so as I look at this, like you see all the muscles, the skeleton, and, and through this, the skin, the fingers, the hand, reaching. And then I see all the fingers and the hands right here too with this and holding hands. So there is some closure right? Getting this final closure because someone doesn't have the truth or they're not willing, even without having this truth, not even without getting that clarity of knowing, you know, it's like, they're not going to humble themselves and they're not going to apologize and they're not going to come clean. They're going to keep the lie going as long as they can. Uh, and so it's just close the door on that shit. And let's move forward to what you want to create something real. So the magician I often pull as, you know, the Gemini energy, but doesn't have to be that. Mm. And even the scan coins, knowing exactly how to, how to do rest, knowing that they need to rest, how to heal certain things. Um, and this, even the king of coins is also our physical body, right? Like it's our, our the material, uh, our bones, our blood. It's not spirit, you know, it's, it's physical. You can touch it. You can feel it. A baby. I want to talk about some of those things of getting those. Yeah. Okay. I want to see what this one is kind of sticking out the world in reverse. Okay. So this isn't completed. This isn't over. This is the beginning stage regarding something. Hmm. All right, so what else do we have for the cancer signs? Once again, no, wow. I see someone is looking in, spying, potentially stalking. Uh, and someone even maybe sense it. Maybe you're getting a phone call. and, and or Because that star 69 is like this thing of like, hey, you can even like sense it, like that they're looking in. But what they see is good in this sense. So what I see, this younger, this page of swords, whoa. Five, six, seven. They're looking to at their options. Wow. Okay. They maybe they see that you are an option because we also have these options. But I feel like they're also learning. Like we've got this blade here. 
maybe some this is a person that's stalking or spying. Maybe someone is looking in on this person, this Empress in reverse. Okay. And they're seeing, uh, and, and what they see could even show that they are looking at their options. They're in a delusion, illusion. So I will say potentially there could be the drugs involved because we've got these elixirs, right? And trusting the universe as well, shining light on it, the sun energy. Um, and seeing there's betrayal, backstabbing by this person there's deception there's lies right they're not uh and where i've got the seven of cups here wow one seven this shows uh apothecary take one vial do not mix do not mix they're mixing i feel like they're mixing and sometimes well people will go to a bunch of different doctors and get a whole bunch of different prescriptions even uh we've got so that's for the foot all of these say take one and do not mix uh and it's based on which part of your body we've got the skull the brain the rib cage the foot the heart the hand but so there's confusion what what do you need right there's there could be illusion or confusion with that hmm do not mix. Mm. All right. Okay. I'm going to flow it through. So we did have, I believe this was like Leo energy. Uh, maybe even an underlying moments was over here. An unlocked potential. So I want to see, especially, okay. Well, we've got the brain. Oh, the queen of rods. Oh, okay. Uh, in reverse though. Some of you, if you're the uh, so I asked about Leah, right? Unlock potential, focusing on one thing. Um, she didn't reverse, okay? So, yeah, Page of Queens. Um, I feel like she, in a sense, is there's a slowdown. Maybe there is an earth sign child, um, involved with this towards Capricorn Virgo child. Uh, that would be very specific for you guys, right? Okay, Cancer Signs. Because she's in reverse, which shows that she could potentially be, that would be the energy I was kind of talking about. Either there's a lot of anger, or they're trying to get attention in any way they can. Either it's um, lustful, showing off their body for likes and attention, or uh, trying to dominate with fear and control. And I'm seeing her looking at this child, like even putting them down um, and actually making them feel like putting down what they bring. Like, uh, like this page of coins would be like, so, like taking time and making something real, like whether it be art or food or, but even Virgo energy, right? Or, um, but feeling like, They've been told they're dumb or they're, they don't like it's, they it, even feeling like they're unimportant. Wow. Okay. Wow. And for some, it could also be a Capricorn child because there will be a return. I want to see what these ones are. Okay, the world, once again, is in reverse and temperance in reverse. Oh, for some of you, because temperance rep represents Sagittarian, okay? So, take it how it resonates, guys. I brought up Leo. I brought up Sagittarian. Uh, maybe it's Aries energy, because we do have Aries. On, we definitely have the fire signs on the board now, right? Um, but even spying or looking in. Uh, maybe even they're looking at, like, these type of women that are, like single mom hot club that are like i'm a single mom and putting themselves out there to try and get a sugar daddy temperance is uh in reverse is someone very balanced uh, or unbalanced so something is not completed with this person they're very imbalanced their brain's an imbalance they have gone too far to 
mm, with what they're doing. Maybe there's overindulgent. Uh, there's overdoing it. There's overindulgence. Yeah, someone is unhappy. And <laughs> it looks like it's that person here about even a gift that someone gave someone. And some people never change. See, this isn't completed. It's not over. I mean, you did have, like, with the Sagittarian energy, the options were being kept open. And that's what I see. A player, player, woman. Okay? So keep that in mind. It's not just, uh, it's not just men. I get it. Uh, it's both, both genders can be, you know, promiscuous and uh, uncommittal liars and not good parents or people. And I, I see that as they're not good. They're not good influences. Uh, yeah. Wow. Temperance in reverse and the world in reverse. Okay. What else? The moon card and the moon card. This is your card, Cancer Signs. Uh, this is also the nurturing, the mothering, the intuitive. These are upright. This is keeping things on the down low. These are secrets as well. These true emotions. Uh, the feelings are mutual. Maybe someone is a little bored or apathetic. Huh. And this is why it's a secret. It's like a secret because there's other options. Ooh, three of swords in reverse. Yeah, this is with the heartbreak. That's why we that's why we see in the world as well. Uh third party energies, infidelity, heartbreak, second options. Yeah, someone's trying to move forward and move and I see it in reverse is healing this. Um and releasing and moving on. You know, from feeling betrayed, from feeling Heartbroken from third party, second option, be feeling like an option. Whoa, and and it's a heavy burden, and someone doesn't want to do like it's like laying down this burden, not not doing it all on their own anymore. Wow, the King of Swords in reverse too with that options kept open. Whoa, the Emperor in reverse. Oh, so see we go here we go, duality. Maybe both, it's like both are in the wrong. The lovers, the emperor's in reverse. So this is even the husband, the father, the boss, uh, trying to control stuff, um, trying to control a lover. And wow, king of swords. So if you're dealing with, I have to call it out oh, that uh, a father, a father figure, a husband, the boss. Uh, maybe it is they're dealing with the boss even, but they're in reverse. So whenever I pull them in reverse, they're needing attention. Uh, they're not in their strength. They're not in their power. That's why there's deception, lying, cutting because they're options. So if you get caught, you know what I mean? So if there's like, if you are like in this relationship or something and you're like, um, and you ask them questions or they get caught red handed, they flip it on you, right? And they start calling, they, they smear campaign or you're crazy, you know? And that's, it's really sad, but yeah. Wow. Emperor and Empress. So some of you, that's even, Wow. So we have also the lover's card, which it can sometimes represent options and choices. And then I've got the two of rods. So six, two. Oh, some of you are to Gemini. Because ge lovers to me is Gemini, but I see six, two. Maybe two, six even. I see that there was maybe, and that's the thing, having options and choices uh and as a lover um and someone was at a crossroads oh crazy i was like i i think i took pictures today of like maybe there is pictures of it but i took pictures of like these lilies the lilies open up okay so there's unresolved issues even right uh yeah they, they want to fight their competition 
maybe there is there was even some physical stuff that's what i'm saying that this is that narcissist controlling gaslighting there could have even been physical when they lose the intellectual battle or they get caught they turn to violence and domineering and trying to control and i see this is there's unresolved issues there right with this this particular thing um and it had to do with potentially even like investment or money paychecks or investments i feel like also that's what it was about it was trying to control the money as well i mean wow okay so unresolved issues with this lover maybe they are if they are physical or violent then that's not love that's not love yeah um i also see so then we've got the two of rods and this also kind of pulled in some piscean seven two in particular or two seven now this is someone making that decision to go a different direction or do something else right so this is always having an, an option like a crossroads there was action taken towards something and then uh having an opportunity to maybe look back or move a different direction and I'm seeing a choice being made to move in a different direction towards their light. I am their light. Hmm. All right. That's what I've got. I want to pull this one too. I see the tower. Oh, wow. So there's some scorpionic. Oh, my gosh. I said there's some scorpionic and the death card under there too. So you can have this Scorpio in your chart or dealing with it. But that tower is a huge transformation. Sometimes exactly the tower is even... Uh, that's what came crumbling down. Maybe there was an actual death. So, or there is victory over this death. There is victory over an ending, a transformation. Yeah. Someone lost their passion. This could have had to do. There could have been, oh, an ending with their uh, sexual drive even. Oh, the chariot. That's your card too. Movement. Taking action. Wait. Yeah, and unblocking. No longer defending someone. Traveling toward. It's like there was someone unblocked and there's movement. Towards what? Victory. <laughs> you know, even traveling to go golfing. I mean, this is kind of weird. Yeah, no longer feeling like you're a wounded warrior got to protect yourself. There's a sense of feeling free that you can go travel and do what you need to do and enjoy your life uh, instead of being filled full of fear. Yeah, and the sun is upright. <coughs> so now joy, happiness, healing this wounded warrior energy. and and even being able to communicate about it and 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 uh write about it um maybe you're traveling somewhere even to a sun or to a leo energy or happiness uh and and writing about overcoming i feel like traveling to communicate and tell or um you know messages coming through a lot of messages the hierophant ooh, about commitment about what you believe in Maybe this is even to a Taurus energy. It doesn't have to be. I all no way I see specific five eight. Nineteen. Eight nineteen. Leo even. Five nineteen Taurus. Uh what else? Uh yeah. And about someone you work with or about work. And that it is work. Um eight four leo okay that is where i'm gonna end it okay because it's already long all right 104 this is your final message thank you cancer signs i hope that this is giving us some type of guidance clarification uh you know so whatever it is you're going through or whomever you're dealing with in your life you know and if it's not for you it's not for you so don't just remember don't don't take any of this as uh you know to bring you into some fear or something I feel like even though I do a future energy, there would still be, there's still going to be, you know, 
there's a knowing. I don't know how to, like, this is going to give some more clarification or confirmation. Um, I want to open this book and see what we open it to. Ooh, the rune sequence here. 236. Spreads and casting. Ah, the master rune. Isa. Isa. The theme room is a Fehu. Hmm. Weird. I Isa, huh? Okay. Bracana. I was. Wow. Okay, that's what I open it up to. Nearest to him represented the roots of the problem, and that each rune down the line represented an unfolding of his word wired or individual fate in this situation so this is also showing like mm, a future theme these are sample readings victor <laughs> i'm just gonna read this okay uh it says victor is a musician skilled in a number of instruments Involved in quite a diverse range of musical projects, he had also built up a home studio of recording and sampling equipment while working at a music festival in another city. He received the devastating news that his studio has been broken into and his equipment stolen. This came on top of a number of other cruel blows that had rained in on him in the recent months, including a breakup with his partner, a nervous breakdown. After the initial shock wore off, he went through a process of considerable soul searching as to how he could recover from this misfortune. Was there any kind of message in this blow to his aspirations? Could anything of, of benefit be redeemed from the loss? Victor posed this question to the runes. First, he drew a single rune from the pouch to signify the overall theme of his current challenge, sight unseen, which was Fehu. Ah, F-E-H-U. Then he threw in front of him the remaining stones, which landed in a sort of fanned out flute. When the face down runes were eliminated, those remaining seemed to Victor an experienced rune caster to form an elongated Isa stave. This is deemed to be the master rune, which appears in the rune casting as a stave shape that is revealed among the randomly cast runes. This rune is then read as the overall theme of the reading. As a stave of difficulty, misfortune, and danger, Issa appeared to be quite appropriate. Victor intuitively felt that the lower runes in the line of the throne runes, those nearest to him, represented the roots of the problem. Right? Right. Okay, I'm not going to read all this, but this is the Nordic runes. Paul Rise Mountain Fort, understanding the casting and inter interpretation of the ancient Viking oracle. So, I actually feel like I'm going to be bringing this up further on when we get into the Leo uh, energy and even when I do, uh, I know, August messages. So interesting enough, I know this is for July, but I also like to share, I want to bring this more, I want to bring this in more. Um, I've worked more with, I, I understand more Ogum, which is, an, and I understand this has to do with Odin uh, and hit the Odin alphabet. So maybe there's something about that, but I think these are fascinating. This book is by Paul, Paul Rise Mount Fort. Ah, barely there he is. Ogum. There we go. Yeah. Okay. Destiny books. Rochester, Vermont. All right. I always like sharing these types of things of learning as well. And whatever it is you are drawn into, you know, to learn about. Or to share. Uh, maybe it's your... Sometimes there's these seashells. There's something about a seashell type thing where you... Uh, there's divination with seashells as well. Conch shells or something. No, it's different than that. Anyways. All right. Thank you, Cancer Signs. I hope this is giving you some guidance, clarification, understanding uh, for this month of July. Thanks so much. Bye-bye.